Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to solve a circuit like this. Uh, oscillator, a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor in series. This is called an RCL circuit. And we're going to let the resistor equal 100 ohms. The capacitor will be 26 microfarads. And the inductor will equal 0.53 henrys. Frequency equals 60 hertz. And the voltage will be 100 volts, like I use a lot. Okay. So what we're going to learn how to find is first x of L, x of C, Z. After that, we'll find the total current. And then we'll find the phase angle and power factor. So, x sub L equals 2 pi FL. So, <clears throat> 2 pi FL is 2 pi 60 hertz. And the inductor is 0.53 henrys. So, um, if you figure this out, you have 2 times pi times 60 times 0.53 equals 199.8. We're going to say x sub L equals 200 ohms. I designed the problem to be like that. x sub C is 1 over 2 pi FC. So that's 1 over 2 pi. F is 60. And C is 26 microfarads. That's 26 times 10 to the minus 6th. So we'll do that. So 2 times pi times 60 times 26 exponent minus 6. Take the reciprocal. And that gives me 102 ohms. So x of C equals 102 ohms. So basically... I designed this to be 100 ohms. Okay, I've picked it, and that's I just rounded off the capacitance value. So we found x of L, we found x of C, and now z is the square root of r squared plus x of L minus x of C quantity squared. If you look at the vector diagram, we have r is 100 ohms this way. We have x of L is 200 this way and x of C is 100 this way. So you can see that x of L and x of C are vectorially opposed from each other and they cancel out. So 200 minus 100, 200 minus 100 is 100. <clears throat> so we have an R of 100 we have a reactive component of 100. And so that gives us 100 squared plus 100 squared square root. So we know that that's 100 squared of 2. Okay, but you, you can't build the square root of 2. So 100 times the square root of 2 is, oh, I should have known that, 141.42. So Z is 141.42 ohms. Okay. And theta is the inverse tangent of the reactive components, which is x of L minus x of C, over the resistive components, which is just R. So that's 100 divided by 100, inverse tangent, which we know is 45 degrees. Okay, inverse tangent of 1 is 45 degrees. And so the power factor is equal to the cosine of theta, which is equal to cosine of 45. And cosine of 45 is 0 0.707, so that's 70.7%. So we, we're losing roughly 30% of our power because we're out of phase, but maybe we want to be out of phase for reasons that uh, we'll learn about later. 
And the next thing we could do, we didn't find current. So I equals E over R. Hopefully this is still in view of the camera. Let me check. Yeah, it kind of is. I equals E over R. And so you have 100 volts divided by 1. Or I should say E over Z, not E over R, 141.42, so 100 divided by answer, and that gives me 0 0.707 amps. And then effective power. So power is equal to E times I, but since we're not in phase, power effective is E times I times the power factor which is the cosine of theta so it's E I cosine of theta which is 45 which is 0 0.707 as we just said so we have 100 volts times 0 0.707 amps and the way I designed this 0 0.707 shows up too many times so I'm going to write this as the cosine of 45 so it doesn't look like there's a double 0 0.707. So we have 100 times 0 0.707 times the cosine of 45 gives us 59.99 uh, or 50 watts. So power equals 50 watts. Numbers are too perfect. I kind of cooked up this problem to be nice. So I'm going to give you guys one on a PDF to download and, and work. There'll be two problems. One of them will be a, kind of a special case, and what you're supposed to do is tell me what's special about it. Okay, so it'll look like this. This problem, and this is the special problem. So the special problem has 500 hertz, 50 ohms, 16 millihenries, 6.3 microfarads, and the not special problem uh, is this 1,000 ohms here. This guy's a kilohertz, this guy's 500 hertz. Okay, uh, so this will show up as a PDF. Good luck, guys. Hope this works. Bye.